about a project titled Rainfall Prediction Using Machine Learning. Accurate rainfall prediction holds the immense significance across sectors like agriculture and power generation, especially amid shifting climatic dynamics. To address these challenges, we harnessed a comprehensive UCI repository dataset featuring the numerous attributes for the precise rainfall forecasting. We delve into the realm of machine learning, exploring the algorithms such as logistic regression, decision tree, KNN, and random forest. Through meticulous accuracy comparison, we identified the optimal model for enhancing the rainfall prediction. Our project co aim is to deliver the precise climate insight to diverse stakeholders and the derivating rainfall prediction precision through the strategic integration of machine learning algorithms. This research contributes to more informed decision making across the multiple sectors impacted by the rainfall patterns. Our project centers on crafting an advanced real time rainfall prediction system capitalizing the power of machine learning classification algorithm. The primary objective is to furnish the precise climate insight to a diverse encompassing agriculture, research, and the power generation. These insights empower the stakeholder to make the informed decision concerning the water resource management, crop yield optimization, and the resource conservation. Our pursuit is to drive on by the commitment to surmount the limitation of presiding methodology and offer an unparalleled presiding rainfall prediction solution. By enhancing the capability of KNN and random forest, we classify and forecast the rainfall with unprecedented accuracy. Our innovative approach strives to recognize how various sectors respond to the dynamic challenges posed by changing the prescription pattern. And these are the basic requirements that are needed to build this project. The software requirements are Python IDE with version of 3.7, Anaconda with version of 3.7, Jupyter Notebook. Hardware requirements are operating system as Windows, processor of minimum Intel i3 and above, RAM of minimum 4 GB, hard disk of minimum 2 GB. And to know about the flow of the project, these are the steps we need to discuss. The first one is importing the package. Here we need to import the libraries and packages that are important to facilitate the data manipulation, analysis and the model building for the rainfall prediction. And the next one is exploring the data set. The data set containing the rainfall related data is explored to understand its structure, variable and the characteristics. Initial data sets also to be detected in this. And the next one is data processing. Raw data related to the rainfall is cleaned, pre-processed and transformed as necessary. This step involves handling the missing value, outlay treatment and feature engineering. And the next step is putting the data to the train and the test. The data set is divided into the training and the testing set. The training set is used to train the model while the testing set is kept aside to avoid the performance. And the next one is building the model. Here we need to build the different models. The first one is ARIMA model for forecasting. Auto regressive integrated moving average is a widely used time series forecasting model. It combines the auto regressive and moving average component with differentiating to the handle trends and seasonality. And this project it be employed to forecast the future rainfall value based on the historical data, capturing the temporal pattern and the fluctuation. And the next one is random forest. These are an ensemble learning algorithm that construct the multiple decision tree during the training and averages the prediction for the better accuracy and reduces overfitting. In the context of rainfall prediction, random forest we captured the complex relationship between the meteorological feature and the rainfall pattern. And the next one is extreme gradient boosting. Is an algorithm of gradient boosting known for its efficiency and predictive power. It builds a sequence of three that correct the errors of the previous model. And for this project, it iteratively refined the prediction by focusing on the sample with the higher prediction error, improving the overall accuracy. And the next one is decision tree. Decision tree is a partition data based on the feature condition and predict the outcome based on the majority class in each terminal node. 
and the contest of this project decision tree we predict the presence or absence of the rainfall based on the input feature like temperature humidity etc and the next one is logistic regression it is a regression algorithm used for the binary classification task predicting the probability of the instance belonging to a particular class and the rainfall prediction project logistic regression can classify whether or not rainfall will occur based on the input meteorological feature and the next one is SVR it stands for support vector regression algorithm that uses the support vector machine to predict the continuous value it aims to find the hyperplane that best fits the data within the defined margin and in this project it predict the quantity of rainfall based on the relevant meteorological attribute and the next one is LSTM it stands for long short term memory is a type of recurrent neural network that designed to handle the sequence capturing the log range dependency and mitigating the vanishing gradient issue and this project LSTM be used to capture the temporal pattern and the meteorological data for accurate rainfall forecasting and the next one is user gives the input here we're building the class web framework a web application where the user can provide the input data which include the relevant meteorological feature for predicting the rainfall and the next one is the given input is pre-processed for prediction the provided user input undergoes the pre-processing step similar to those performed on the training data to ensure the compatibility with the training model and the next one is trained model is used for the prediction the pre-processed the user input fed into the trained model to predict the likelihood of the rainfall occurrence and amount each model processes the input and provides its respective prediction and the last one is final outcome is displayed the prediction from the different models are consolidated and presented as a final outcome with the help of class a web framework and the execution of the project to execute the project first we need to open the code folder and this is the code folder containing of various files within it the dataset folder containing of the dataset that we used in this project and the state predictions folder containing of the various folders containing of the dataset within it as of the form of csv files and the static folder containing of the css fonts images javascript assets files within it and the template folder containing of the home index notebook results sign in and sign up pages within it and the app is an py file which likely contain the information related to the front end logic it include the code written in python that handle the server side operation such as processing the user request interacting with the database and generating the dynamic content that to be rendered in the html template and the model is a csv file which contains the algorithm information and loaded into the project code during the runtime to utilize the trained and model for the various tasks such as making the prediction on the new data performing the specific operation and the notebook is an ipynb file which contains the combination of code graph and output all in one place it allows the user to write and execute the code in the individual cell making it a popular choice for the data science and the signup.db is a file appear to be the database file that will be used to store the user information and for the execution of the project first we need to copy this code folder path and then open the anaconda prompt here we need to write a command cd space and paste this code folder path by this it will change the command directory to the code folder path and then click on the enter button here we need to write a command that is cd space python dot python space app dot py by using this command it will execute the python script and perform the runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues and then click on the enter button after running this app dot py file the flash framework will host the application locally at the default address like this we need to copy this link and paste it on any of the web browser of our choice and i prefer to use the google code i'm pasting this link and then click on the enter button here it will redirect it to this page containing of some information and title of the project click on the sign up button here it will redirect to the sign up page containing of some necessary details that need to be filled to create an account but my account is already created that's why i'm using the sign in button here it will redirect to the sign in page containing of username and password that are need to be filled and then click on the login button here it will redirect it to this page containing of some input details that need to be entered to predict the result 
and here I'm entering the input as of year 2017 and the month is of 6 and the date fraction is of 2017.453 and the humidity is of 1.4 and the temperature is of 23 and the wind is of 1136 and then click on the predict button here it redirected to the result page and giving the prediction as of the rainfall width of 19.2 cm in the way we can predict the rainfall by using the various machine learning algorithms and in conclusion the machine learning algorithms we effectively use it to predict the rainfall accurately. We compared the performance of various algorithms and found the random forest algorithm provide the best accuracy for the rainfall prediction. The importance of rainfall prediction and managing the water resource crop productivity and preventing the wastage of resources. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.